Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about the entropy. Entropy is a very useful term in thermodynamics and even second law of thermodynamics is completely related to entropy. So what entropy actually is? In this video, we are going to see everything about entropy. So let's start. We know that all the molecules in the universe is constantly vibrating. That means they have certain randomness or disorderness in them. So the entropy is directly related to that randomness or disorderness. Entropy is the measurement of that randomness or disorderness of the molecule present in a system. Let me write that definition. Entropy is defined as defined as the randomness randomness or disorderness disorderness of the molecules present in a system so this is the definition of entropy. It is just the measurement of that randomness or disorderness of the molecules in a system. Okay. Now let's take an example. Suppose I have a reaction like A converts to B, then B converts to C and C converts to D. This is a three step reaction. Now for this reaction, there will be certain entropy changes. Entropy is denoted by it is denoted by s okay it is denoted by s so for this step there might be certain entropy change right that let us consider that by s1 for this reaction also the entropy change will be s2 for this reaction also the entropy change will s3 i'm talking about suppose this is s1 this is s2 this is s2 this is s3 this is s3 this is s4 okay so in this way from molecule A to D, the entropy keeps on changing in all the steps. So, the question is, will the entropy change depend on all the steps? The answer is no. Entropy is a state function. The meaning of state function is, it only depends in the initial state and the final state. It does not depend on all the steps that it follows. So, let me write that entropy that is s is a state function is a state function that is it only it only depends on initial initial and final state final state initial and final state but does not depend on the process at all okay does not depend at the process at all so this is what entropy actually is its unit is its unit is joule per mole per kelvin or calorie per mole per kelvin and it is sometimes written as eu uh, per mole as well eu per mole as well where this eu means entropy entropy unit eu means entropy unit and it simply means calorie uh, per kelvin calorie per kelvin is called entropy unit that is denoted by eu so the unit of entropy can simply be eu per mole as well so this is what entropy actually is now how does it uh, how is it related to the second law of thermodynamics or simply how is it related to the heating energy of the reaction so let's see that entropy is directly related to the heating energy of the reaction the question is how so, we know that 
if the heating energy of the system increases the molecules will get energy and they will start to vibrate okay they will start to vibrate and in gas if they get energy they will start to move randomly from one place to another and that is what we call entropy right if the randomness is changing that means entropy is changing entropy simply means the measurement of the randomness of the molecules in a system right so when it gets the heating energy then its molecules will start to vibrate randomly its molecule will start to move randomly as well so its entropy will increase either increase or decrease it depends on the heating energy if heat energy increases then the entropy will also increase if heat energy decreases the entropy will also decrease so let me write that according to thermodynamics sorry according to second law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics thermodynamics the entropy change the entropy change is is directly proportional directly proportional proportional to the heat energy heat energy change and inversely and inversely proportional to proportional to the temperature temperature and mathematically mathematically it can be written as d as that is change in entropy is equal to dq by t ds is equal to dq by t where this ds is change in entropy dq is equal to change in heat energy heat energy and t is equal to uh, temperature temperature that means in a system if it is getting heat energy its molecule will vibrate more randomly so the entropy change will increase that means what the second law of thermodynamics actually means and this is the mathematical form of the entropy so this is what entropy and entropy change actually is i hope you understood everything about entropy if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video